So I have twin boys, and they're very young. And my whole goal is to just make sure that I'm raising them in the most perfect way. But what is really important to me is that they are authentically polite. And so I'm on a quest to figure out how can I do that. The thing is that our children can never be perfect. And more interestingly, our children are often mirrors of ourselves. And so if we want for um, lightness and good and authenticity to flow from our children, what needs to happen first is that it must flow from ourselves. How are you teaching your kids to be polite? Oh my. Um, well, first of all, it's not easy. Polite is doing what you're told and being obedient, which I think falsely a lot of people think is really wonderful. Um, authentically polite is really sincerely being appreciative of something and not just doing what you're told. So recently the royal family was in town here in Vancouver and Justin Trudeau was here with his family as well and they met. And the media caught this moment where Justin Trudeau wanted to shake the hand and greet this little three-year-old little prince and he was denied a handshake and he was denied a low five and so he just kind of stood there crouched down and let it be and it made me think you know i'm just curious is that okay You know, I remember when I was growing up and my parents had dinner parties, before I went off to bed I was expected to go around the room and give every single person there a kiss and a hug goodnight because my parents were sticklers for good manners and that was just a polite thing to do. Even when I'm not in a good mood, I'll hug somebody just out of politeness. I don't feel that comfortable with, with hugging and kissing somebody like not from the family that they don't know, but I feel comfortable doing it but with a family member I know. I think it's really important that we teach kids they get to choose. And it doesn't mean that kids don't need to be polite and show good manners, especially to our family and friends, um, but maybe that comes in the form of a polite good night with some nice eye contact or a high five or a handshake. In terms of hugging and kissing everyone, I, I kind of think of those two things as two separate things. I think the verbal of hello and goodbye, I think that that's something that's really important in terms of being polite. Uh, hugging and kissing is kind of taking to maybe at that other personal level because it's in your personal space. It's hard because for me and my culture, in like my upbringing, there was always like hugging and kissing, and I wish there was more of it, but it's not necessarily happening. Yeah. Does that? How does that make you feel? It makes me feel that we are we are building a, a culture or raising children and really like isolated children who are afraid of touch and I think it's kind of sad actually. How would you treat your best friend in the same situation? You know, would you be like, come on, go, you know, just go say goodbye right now and they're like, I really just feel like slipping out right now without saying goodbye. No, you have to say goodbye or you have to say thank you. How would you treat your best friend in the same situation? In case parents are worried about offending friends and family, uh, we can explain it to them. You know, just so you know, if Sarah doesn't want to give you a hug as she always does, don't be offended. We're just trying to teach her healthy boundaries and consent. Parenting and the growing up of children is so much less about what you do and really just all about how you be.